Dear students of the third secondary stage, welcome to our episode today. We have a lot to introduce together today. Please welcome Ms. Jermaine Beha. She's going to be with us for this, for this episode. Jermaine, what are we going to have today? Hi, Mrs. Caroline. Hi, dear students. I'm so happy to be with you and with my dear colleague. Today we are going to deal with Prisoner of Zenda. Prisoner of Zenda, Chapter 3, Part 1. Summary of Chapter 3. Rudolf Fresendil was dressed as the King of Ruritania. He rode on through the streets of Stralso towards the palace. He expected that Antoinette de Maubon would call out and tell everyone that he was not the real king. But Antoinette de Maubon didn't call out. Perhaps she had not recognized him. Marshal Strachans gave an order to his men to change route and enter the poor parts of the town. The marshal said that it would be better that way. People in the poor part of the town supported Duke Michael. Rudolf Resendil thought that perhaps the marshal was testing him. Rudolf Resendil told the marshal to order his men to ride ahead of him. Rudolf Resendil wanted to ride alone through the streets of the old town. He wanted to show the poor people that their king trusted them. The marshal was surprised and Colonel Sapt was very worried. Rudolf Rasendale realized that if he were killed in that part of the town, Sapt's position would become very difficult. When Rudolf Rasendale rode alone through the streets of the old town, he realized how wide how clean his uniform seemed compared to the old buildings around him. Rudolf Rasendil was so close to the people in the poor area that he could easily hear what the people were saying about him. People were surprised to see the king Rudolf Rasendil on his own. Some people smiled and cheered but others were quiet and looked at Rudolf Rasendil angrily. Despite their anger, Rudolf Rasendil managed to reach the palace safely. After that, the coronation took place in a beautiful building. There were many people there that Rudolf didn't know. Princess Flavia was there. The golden crown was placed on Rudolf Rasendil's head. He was asked to read out some promises. Then beautiful music played and someone announced that Rudolf V was king of Ruritania. It seemed that Duke Michael knew that Rudolf Rasendil was not the real king. His hands shook with anger when he greeted Rudolf Rasendil. However, no one else, not even Princess Flavia, seemed to realize that he was not the real king. He stood in the palace for an hour, greeting many ambassadors and important people who came to see him. Rudolf Rasendil was worried when he saw Lord Topham from England. But the man's eyes were too poor to recognize Rudolf Rasendil. Before we go to the answers, let's have a brief about what we have read. في البداية احنا قلنا ان رودولف كان من الناس اللي خايفة جدا من انتوانا دوموبان السيدة اللي هو سبق وقابلها قبل كده 
لا تصرخ وتقول ان هو هيز نوت ذا ريل كينج لكن هي ما اتكلمتش خالص رودولف كان ذكي جدا في المعامله مع البور بيبل هو اقترح ان هو يدخل المنطقه الفقيره اللي هو عارف انه بلاك مايكل بيجد دعم كبير جدا من الناس بتوعها لان هو يدخل لوحده خالص ده كان عشان يثبت للناس ان هو بيثق فيهم ده كان ليه تاثير ايجابي جدا على الفقراء خلاهم بعضهم ابتدى يبتسم وبعضهم ابتدى يحيي الكينج لكن في مجموعه منهم فضلت ساكته وبتتابع الموقف من بعيد بعد ده على طول دخل رودولف المكان اللي فيه حفله التتويج وحضر التتويج والناس كلها كانت مبسوطه وفرحانه بيه ومحدش قدر ياخد باله انه في فرق بينه وبين الكينج ولا حتى برنسس فلافيا اللي هي ليتر اون هنعرف ان هي المفروض تبقى خطيبته لكن الوحيد اللي كان عارف مين هو رودولف رازنديل هو بلاك مايكل وكان في قمة الغضب لأنه رودولف بظهوره في حفلة التتويج أفسد على مايكل البلان بتاعته أنه هو ياخد التاج بعد الجزء ده هيقف رودولف يحيي السفراء بتوع الدول الكتيرة اللي جات علشان تهنيه بهذه المناسبه ان هو بقى الكينج اوف روريتانيا بليز جيت ا بيس اوف بيبر اند ا بان اند بي ريدي وذ ذا كويستشنز وي هاف ا لوت اوف كويستشنز وي هاف كوتيشنز سو بليز فولو اس اند اولسو وي هاف كوريكتينج ذا ميستيكس سو بليز جيت ا بيس اوف بيبر اند بي ريدي سو ذات يو كان فايند اوت وات يو وانت تو بيك فروم ذا كويستشنز ذات وي هاف فيرست كويستشنز ذات وي هاف توداي وي هاف انسر ذا فولوينج كويستشنز اند اور فيرست كويستشن از غونا بي Where did the people who were loyal to Duke Michael live in the city of Stralso? They lived in the poor area of the city. Why did Rudolf Rasendel think carefully before riding through the poor streets of the town? He thought carefully before doing so because the poor people who lived there supported Duke Michael and Rudolf Rasendel who pretended to be the king. might be killed in this part of town. Why did Rudolf Rasendel want to ride on his own through the poor area of Stralso? He wanted the people who lived there to see that their king trusted them. On his way to the palace, Rudolf Rasendel, who pretended to be the king, did what the real king had never done. Discuss. On his way to the palace, Rudolf Rasendel rode alone through the poor area of Stralso, where people supported Duke Michael and didn't like the king. He wanted the poor people to see that their king trusted them. I want to think about this point because we mentioned it in the summary of the episode. We said that Rudolf was the king, Rudolf Elfberg, كان بيهتم جدا بالناس الاغنياء علشان كده هم كانوا بيدوا له دعم they supported him a lot لكن البور بيبل كانوا بيدعموا ديوك مايكل علشان هو كان وعدهم او كان عندهم امل في مستقبل احسن لكن الحركه اللي عملها رودولف الفكره اللي عملها ان هو يمشي مع البور بيبل وسطهم لوحده من غير اي حرس جابت تاثير ايجابي جدا في ان مجموعه كبيره جدا من الناس الفقراء ابتدوا يكونوا في جانب بتاعه وابتدوا يسبورت هيم اللوت هنكمل باقي الكويستشنز Why did Rudolf Rasendel shout at Marshal Strachan's? He wanted him to tell his soldiers to go because Rudolf Rasendel wanted to ride alone through the old town. The marshal didn't think that was a good idea. What was the poor people's reaction when they saw Rudolf Rasendel? Some of them were cheering and smiling, but others were quiet and looked at him angrily. 
How did Rudolf Frazendel try to improve the king's image in the minds of poor people? On his way to the palace, he insisted on riding through the poor area of the city alone so that people would see that he trusted them and cared about them. Who was Princess Flavia? She was a royal cousin to Rudolf Elfberg and Michael Elfberg. What was Duke Michael's reaction as soon as he saw Rudolf Frazendale before the coronation? His face became white. What could Rudolf Frazendale remember of the coronation later on? He could remember that the golden crown which was put on his head. He could also remember the promises he was asked to read out and the beautiful music that played when someone announced that Rudolf V became King of Ruritania. As Duke Michael congratulated Rudolf Frezendil after the coronation, his hands shook with anger. Give a reason. Because he knew that Rudolf Frezendil wasn't the real king, but he couldn't speak because people would ask him where the real king was. Why did Rudolf Rezendil feel worried when he saw a man he knew from England? He felt worried because he didn't want anyone to recognize him. Read the quotations and answer the questions. Number one. Don't you understand me? Tell your soldiers to go. Who said this to whom? The King Rudolf Razendil said this to Marshal Streckens. Why did the speaker want to ride alone? He wanted to go through the old town alone to show the people that he trusted them. Why was the addressed person reluctant to carry out the order? Marshal Streckens did not want the King Razendil to ride alone through the old town because people there supported Duke Michael and he could be killed there. Taban, as we know, we said that Marshal Streckens, he is a very, very honest man, شخص أمين جدا, and he wanted the king always to be safe. And this was one part اللي كان Rudolf Frazendil was very happy about. بس كمان, at the same time, Rudolf Frazendil, he wanted to show to the people that he was not uh, a bad man وكان عايز يتقرب اكتر من الناس الفقراء وعشان كده طلب من مارشال ستريكنز انه يبعد بالسولجرز بتوعه وانه يمشي في uh, وسط المناطق الفقيره اللي موجوده وده كان ليه انطباع كبير جدا عند الناس لانه حسوا انه اللي كانوا متخيلينه من رودلف الكينج مش هو ده بالعكس هو قريب منهم بيتقرب منهم وعنده استعداد انه يكون واحد منهم وده كان ليه تاثير كبير جدا عليهم I realized how white, how clean my uniform seemed compared to the old buildings around me. Who said this? Rudolf Razendel said this. When was this said? This was said when he rode alone through the old town. What does this tell us about the poor people who lived in this area? This tells us that the people who lived there were very poor and lived a very hard life. Their homes were unclean and very small. I was so close to the people in this poor area that I could easily hear what the people were saying about me. Who said this? Rudolf Razendel, who pretended to be the king. Why did the speaker go to that area? He went there because he wanted the people there to see that their king trusted them. What did the people think about the speaker? They were surprised that he was on his own. Some of them smiled and cheered. 
but others were quiet and looked at him angrily. She knew that the king was only interested in food and hunting. He didn't care about the people, so people didn't like him. It was risky for him to ride alone through the old town. Did the people really appreciate what that person had done? How do you know? Yes, they did, as some of them smiled and cheered. It was the first time for the king to be so close to the people in that poor area. Rezendil was dressed as the king of Ruritania. He rode on through the streets of Strauso towards the palace. He expected that Antoinette de Moubon would call out and tell everyone that he was not the real king. But Antoinette de Moubon didn't call out. Perhaps she had not recognized him. Marshal Strachan's gave an order to his men to change route and enter the poor parts of the town. The marshal said that it would be better that way. People in the poor part of the town supported Duke Michael. Rudolf Fresendil thought that perhaps the marshal was testing him. Rudolf Rezendil told the marshal to order his men to ride ahead of him. Rudolf Rezendil wanted to ride alone through the streets of the old town. He wanted to show the poor people that their king trusted them. The marshal was surprised and Colonel Sapt was very worried. Rudolf Rezendil realized that if he were killed in that part of the town, Sapp's position would become very difficult. When Rudolf Rezendil rode alone through the streets of the old town, he realized how wide, how clean his uniform seemed compared to the old buildings around him. Rudolf Rezendil was so close to the people in the poor area that he could easily hear what the people were saying about him. People were surprised to see the king Rudolf Rezendil on his own. Some people smiled and cheered, but others were quiet and looked at Rudolf Rezendil angrily. Despite their anger, Rudolf Rezendil managed to reach the palace safely. After that, the coronation took place in a beautiful building. There were many people there that Rudolf didn't know. Princess Flavia was there. The golden crown was placed on Rudolf Rezendil's head. He was asked to read out some promises. Then beautiful music played and someone announced that Rudolf V was king of Ruritania. It seemed that Duke Michael knew that Rudolf Rezendil was not the real king. His hands shook with anger when he greeted Rudolf Rezendil. However, no one else, not even Princess Flavia, seemed to realize that he was not the real king. He stood in the palace for an hour, greeting many ambassadors and important people who came to see him. Rudolf Rezendil was worried when he saw Lord Topham from England, but the man's eyes were too poor to recognize Rudolf Rezendil. Read the quotations and answer the questions. Number one. Don't you understand me? Tell your soldiers to go. 
Who said this to whom? The King Rudolf Razendel said this to Marshal Strachan's. Why did the speaker want to ride alone? He wanted to go through the old town alone to show the people that he trusted them. Why was the addressed person reluctant to carry out the order? Marshal Streckens did not want the king, Razindel, to ride alone through the old town because people there supported Duke Michael and he could be killed there. Taban, as we know, we said that Marshal Streckens he is a very, very honest man, شخص أمين جدا, and he wanted the king always to be safe. And this was one part اللي كان Rudolf Razendel was very happy about. بس كمان, at the same time, Rudolf Razendel, he wanted to show to the people that he was not uh, a bad man. وكان عايز يتقرب أكتر من الناس الفقراء وعشان كده طلب من Marshal Strachan إنه يبعد the soldiers بتوعه وإنه يمشي في وسط المناطق الفقيرة اللي موجودة وده كان ليه انطباع كبير جدا عند الناس لأنه حسوا انه اللي كانوا متخيلينه من رودلف الكينج مش هو ده بالعكس هو قريب منهم بيتقرب منهم وعنده استعداد انه يكون واحد منهم وده كان ليه تأثير كبير جدا عليهم I realized how white how clean my uniform seemed compared to the old buildings around me. Who said this? Rudolf Razendel said this. When was this said? This was said when he rode alone through the old town. What does this tell us about the poor people who lived in this area? This tells us that the people who lived there were very poor and lived a very hard life. Their homes were unclean and very small. I was so close to the people in this poor area that I could easily hear what the people were saying about me. Who said this? Rudolf Razendel, who pretended to be the king. Why did the speaker go to that area? He went there because he wanted the people there to see that their king trusted them. What did the people think about the speaker? They were surprised that he was on his own. Some of them smiled and cheered, but others were quiet and looked at him angrily. She knew that the king was only interested in food and hunting. He didn't care about the people, so people didn't like him. It was risky for him to ride alone through the old town. Did the people really appreciate what that person had done? How do you know? Yes, they did, as some of them smiled and cheered. And by that, dear students, we came to the end of our episode for today. We hope you have enjoyed it and you benefited from it. My dear students, very happy to be with you again. Please be with us for the second time. For next week, we're waiting for all of you. Thank you. Thank you.